finally got the part. I don't know what that tape says. I'm assuming caution fragile, don't throw. I guess when those guys see that, they don't really care because they give it a toss. That is a serious gouge. So hopefully this is the correct pump. I'm gonna take the other one off. I'll do a comparison. You know, when you're really busy and you just want to work on something that's maybe replace a part and it works, just give you that little self-esteem boost. That's what today is. It's just a beautiful day, finally. So we're going to get some much needed work done on this thing. There she is. Luckily, this old one looks pretty similar to this one. Not quite identical, to be honest, but it's pretty close. I don't have a different one to put on, so this is what we're going to use. Man, UPS guy always shows up right when you're in the driveway. Geez, now I feel kind of bad for that guy. Nice dude, but I guess UPS has some new policies. They're not allowed to back up more than 800 feet ever. And after they scan your package, the first motion the truck cannot go into is reverse. And they monitor all of that. So he couldn't just give me the package and back up to the turnaround because that would be violating and, you know, he'd get a mark on his record, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, geez. Okay, someone, someone that's smarter than me thinks that's a good idea. When that pump goes on there, this port is on the back side, so you can't really get to it. Luckily, there's a banjo fitting that goes on this one, so this will come off with the housing. So I'm going to put this over here, make sure the O-rings are all good. I got some of that 5-minute instant gasket maker, so we'll use that on here, because it looks like this gasket seals right on this lip and around here. I can't tell why from in there, but judging by the amount of oil here, we're just going to go with it. Straw applicator man was a little drunk this day. Two for one. You lose them after about 30 seconds anyway, so I'll get a whole minute of this. Just to give you another look, I'm assuming water got into these threads and then it froze, split this housing. So when this thing was running, it would just spray oil everywhere. My goal here, this is where the pump surface mates onto the engine. All the old gaskets still on here. You gotta take a flat razor blade, scrape all this off so you get a nice, clean, flush mount. Not fun, but necessary. Ta-da! Wipe it down with some brake clean, get all the oil off the surface, because you guessed it, glue and gasket maker does not stick to oil. According to this tube, I've now got five minutes to put this over there. Something's running. I don't know where, but something's running. The issue I had is this pump is slightly longer and has a larger bolt holding the pump together. This is the nut I had to take off. I couldn't swing this pump into here without hitting this what is this? That's the radiator. Couldn't swing this in here without hitting the radiator. Obviously that's not moving. It's part of the engine block, so. 
that's how much room I needed, that tiny little bit. And then my main concern is that behind this puck, there's also an O-ring to hold it to this face. I don't know if that's still in there. Probably not. I think I just got incredibly lucky. That O-ring is still on there. Pump is in, just gotta put the bolt back in this banjo fitting. You know, make it clean. Don't forget your copper washers, top and bottom. Spec. Look at that. Shiniest thing on this tractor. The guy that owned this previously rewired the whole thing and did an absolutely horrendous job. So we're going to put a battery where it belongs, hook it up to this cable that I added. bit of luck this thing should start right up contact contact again contact one more time sounds better have to believe the ground off that battery going to the frame isn't very good because when I did it before just running jumper cables it really turned over so we're gonna hook two more batteries to it with jumper cables and see if it'll fly okay we should have enough amps to send this thing into a low earth orbit contact Lovely. Now that it is running though, I am concerned. This thing has definitely lost oil, and if you lose all your hydraulic oil, you lose all the lubricity in your transmission and everything else. So we know it works. Not on the dipstick. So before we do anything else, we need to add some oil. Ah, you never get the right funnel. Okay. I have no clue, but we'll start there. Look at that. It is right to the one. I don't know what that means. One, two. Well, it's on the stick and we're to the one, which is right in the middle, so. For testing purposes, we're gonna leave it there. Okay, we've got more fluid. 
we're gonna see if this thing drives. figure out how this thing works. Oh, hey. I think it just does. I don't know if you caught that, but I lifted that up and it dumped all over me. backhoe control you got left right main boom up main boom down but this one curl is in uncurl is out but usually when you push this out you know that goes away from you not this one it's backwards so on regular backhoe controls when you push away from you everything goes away from you so when I push this, the main boom is going to go down away from me. When I push this this way, the bucket's going to curl away from me. But when you push this this way, the second part of the arm is supposed to go away from you. I don't know what style that is, but it's not one I've ever encountered. But it does work. We got, we got some drippage substantial enough to be an issue. Got a little leak in the front and by the looks of it, it's shooting out the back. everything does work and it is a funny little tractor oh there we go dong fang model 354 b 1311 made in china by dong fang agricultural machinery this backhoe is so heavy and all the weight is so far out there that when you're driving 
I even left a bit of this dirt in here just to help. But with nothing in the bucket, you can barely turn. And especially when you're, you know, bouncing down the road, the front tires were lifting right off the ground. It was pretty funny. It's got power, it's got clutch, spins all the tires. What more could you want? I'd say with that backhoe off of there, unless you actually need it, decent little tractor.